Welcome to Electro Online. Few of us probably realize that once upon a time, a very long time ago, a day on the Earth was not 24 hours, it was about 6 hours, which means that there was 3 hours of daylight and 3 hours of nighttime. So how did the day, the time of a day change from 6 hours to 24 hours? Why did the Earth's rotation slow down? Well, some event happened somewhere after the Earth was formed about four and a half billion years ago. When the Earth was first formed, the Earth did not have a moon, and the rotational speed was such that it made one complete rotation of its axis in about six hours. But then a very large object ended up, well, impacting into the Earth, a tremendous impact which knocked a piece of the Earth off the, the surface, and those pieces then recoalesced into a sphere which then became the moon. The moon used to be much closer to the earth and over time has moved further and further away. And it's continuing to move further away at about, well, about two or three centimeters per year. It may not seem like a lot, but over billions and billions of years it adds up. So what happened? Why did the earth's rotation slow down? Well, it turns out that there's a very strong gravitational attraction between the moon and the earth because the moon is relatively close at about 385,000 kilometers, which is about 230,000 miles away from the Earth. And because of that, the Earth gets stretched in the direction where the Moon is at. Now, the Moon takes almost a month to go all the way around the Earth. So there is what we call a tidal bulge between on the, on the side of the Earth that faces the Moon, because the Moon is pulling on the Earth, and so the surface of the Earth moves up a little bit, and you can see the oceans rising and dropping as the Earth rotates around. So as the Earth rotates, the tidal bulge then goes back to normal. But since the Earth rotates rather quickly, the tidal bulge gets ahead of the position between the Moon and the Earth. In other words, the tidal bulge doesn't get time to resettle back down, and so the tidal bulge is also a little bit further up as the Earth rotates away from the direct line between the Moon and the Earth. Which means that since there's a little bit more mass on this side of the Earth relative to this side of the Earth, the gravitational attraction from here to the Moon is slightly bigger than the gravitational attraction from here to the Moon. And because of that, this side gets pulled more than this side, which causes the rotation to be pulled against in a way, it's kind of like a rope pulling on the Earth, and slowly over time, over the billions and billions of years, this difference between the gravitational attraction has caused the Earth to slow down from a six-hour day to about a 24-hour day. Will this continue? The answer is yes, this will continue. And if you think that the days are too short now, that you don't get all your work done in 24 hours, don't worry, in about a half a billion years, a day will be 26 hours long. And that gives you two extra hours every day to, to get done what you need to get done. You just need to stick around for another half a billion years for that to happen. If that's the case, uh, how, how do we still see only one side of the moon? Why do we only see one side of the moon? Half a billion years from now, are we still going to see it? That is true. At this time, the Earth and the moon are locked tidally which means that the same side of the moon will always face the Earth from henceforth. Now you may ask, why is that the case? I think we need to make another video on that. No, if, if, we're, <laughs> if all of a sudden the Earth was 26 hours long, then how do we still keep seeing the same side of the moon? So the moon revolves around the Earth, and regardless how fast the Earth is turning, or rotating on its axis, we should say, the moon will always go around the Earth in the very same fashion and always have the same side of the, of the moon facing the Earth, regardless how the Earth is rotating. So, so the, Earth will, the moon will adjust to the Earth? The moon doesn't really adjust, so to speak. Uh, it always will face, and, and for the, essentially the same reason, and, and we'll do a video on it because that's kind of interesting. So with the Earth, the Earth is so big compared to the moon. The Earth has about 80 times the mass of the moon, so it's much more massive than the moon. In other words, if you put the Earth on the scale, you would need 80 moons to balance out the Earth. And so the effect that the moon has on the Earth is minuscule in comparison to the effect the Earth has on the moon. And so this tidal effect has actually caused the moon to get locked in to that position. And so no matter what happens, ends forward, the moon will always have the same side 
facing the Earth. So the tidal bulge is no longer capable of getting past that point between the Earth and the Moon. Well, let's just say the Earth takes a thousand hours to make one rotation. The Moon would not affect the fact that the Moon would always face the same side to the Earth. It is, once it's locked in, it's locked in forever. So it turns out, I believe, and I haven't looked into that, so I'm kind of going at the top of my head. I would think that when the moon was first formed, in the very initial stages, whatever that rotational speed was of the moon would not have been tightly locked with the Earth initially. So the moon would have its own rotation, and we would have been able to see all the various parts of the moon as it rotated differently than the, the speed at which it goes around the Earth. But eventually, because of the tidal, the, the, the gravitational attraction, that would have slowed the moon down to the point where now it rotates at the very same rate as it takes to go once around the Earth. So one rotation of the moon on its axis is exactly the same amount of time as one revolution around the Earth. But initially that would not have been the case. Now how long did that take? I'll have to look into that. I cannot say at the top of my head. You mean you weren't around? I wasn't around back then. No, I'm not quite that old yet. <laughs> <laughs> you may think so, but I wasn't. <laughs>